are you one of those people who loves waking up early and starting your day energized and alert? Or are you like me where you drag yourself out of bed and can't talk to anyone until you've had your coffee? Thanks. Tell me which one you are down below. I would love to see if we're mostly morning people or not morning people. But as I was thinking about how some people just seem to be wired to be morning people, I was wondering, is it possible to become a so-called morning person? That's exactly what we'll uncover in this video. And if you're already a morning person, then keep watching because you're about to find out how to make your mornings even better. And if you're not a morning person, definitely keep watching. Before we get into it, why am I talking about this? What does being a morning person have to do with time management and productivity? Well, a lot actually. So far, I've talked about productivity, priorities, and to-do lists on my channel because those things have a lot to do with being a time management coach. And if those sound interesting to you, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Well, whether you're a morning person or not, that impacts time management too. When I help my clients find better time management strategies, those strategies are tailored to each and every one of them. Otherwise, they won't work for that person. If you were a client of mine, we'd figure out why you wanna manage your time better. We talk about what your goals are and what you wanna do with the time that you get back. And for your time management strategy to work, we have to understand how you spend your time best right now, including your strengths and weaknesses. That's why understanding whether you're a morning person or if you can even become one is so helpful. Now that that's covered, can you become a morning person? The short answer, yes. Well, kind of. Here's the long answer. We're all biologically wired to experience different energy peaks and valleys throughout the day. In fact, there are three different energy phases that we all experience each day. Your peak, your trough, and your rebound. Your peak, that's your highest energy point during the day. This is when you feel amazing, focused, refreshed, energized. Your trough is your lowest energy point of the day. This is when you're totally dragging, you feel foggy, you're craving coffee, a nap, or both. Your rebound is another high energy point, but not quite as high as your peak. You feel good, focused, and productive. Think of it as a second wind. By the way, if you wanna know how understanding these three energy phases can help you become more productive, watch this video. Here's the thing. We all experience these three energy phases throughout the day but we don't experience them in the same order or even at the same time. Why? It has to do with your biological chronotype. Your biological what? Your biological chronotype. Your biological chronotype represents whether you're a morning person, a night person, or somewhere in between. And yes, that means you're not just limited to being a morning bird or a night owl. You can be a third bird. That's a thing. Sounds cute, right? So let's talk a little bit about the differences between morning larks, night owls, and third birds. Morning larks, or early birds, feel their best in the morning. Obviously. They experience the three phases of energy in this order. Peak, trough, and rebound. Their peak is usually around 6, 7, or 8 a.m. Their lowest energy point is typically in the afternoon. Finally, they get a second win early in the evening, and morning larks are typically early to bed and early to rise. What are larks like? Well, they're often introverted, forward-thinking, conscientious, and persistent. Turns out more women are larks than men. And people with fall or winter birthdays tend to be larks. Something to do with those long, dark days, maybe? Then we have our night owls. Night owls, shocker, feel their best at night. But their energy phases are experienced in the exact opposite order from larks. Night owls experience a rebound, 
a trough, and then their peak. So owls actually begin the day in their rebound phase. They're feeling good, but they're definitely not at their best. In the afternoon, night owls are at their lowest energy-wise, just like the lark. And finally, in the evening, their peak arrives. So what are owls like? Well, owls are typically open, extroverted, creative, and thrill-seeking. More men than women tend to be night owls, and night owls are typically born in the spring and summer months. And night owls are actually much less common than we think. It's definitely not 50-50. Night owls only make up about 25% of the population. And if you're listening closely to both descriptions of the morning lark and the night owl, and you're not feeling either of them, well then you just might be a third bird like me. Third birds are those of us who don't fit neatly into the morning lark, night owl categories. And we're the most common chronotype too, making up 60 to 80% of the population. Just like morning larks, third birds experience their three energy phases in this order, peak, trough, and rebound. However, for third birds, their peak and their rebound time are pushed back just a little bit in the day. So think mid-morning instead of early morning for their peak and mid-evening instead of early evening for their rebound. Basically, a third bird probably won't meet you for a sunrise breakfast, but they'll definitely be ready for brunch. Fun fact, many people who think that they're night owls are actually third birds. And personality-wise, it just makes sense that third birds would share personality traits of both morning larks and night owls. Now that you've watched me talk all about these birds, and if you're still not sure where you fly, I have a free worksheet that will help you find out which bird you are. I've linked it down in the description, so you can grab that now if you can't wait to find out. So now that we know about the three different biological chronotypes and how they experience energy throughout the day, can we change that? Can you become a morning lark if you weren't born one? The thing is, your bird type may change all throughout your life. Most children, from toddlers to preteens, are larks. And if you're a mom whose kids have ever burst into your bedroom at 5 a.m. on a Saturday morning, then you already know this and I feel you. Then once those teenage years hit, kids become more owlish and that owlness lasts into your early 20s. If you used to be a total night owl in college, but now you can barely keep your eyes open to watch TV past 9 p.m., then your owl days might just be behind you. Many adults over 60 actually become morning larks, even if they had other patterns during other points in their life. So, Going back to the original question, is it possible to become a morning person? The truth is that some of us are just born that way or have some of those traits. But I believe that you can have good mornings even if you're a night owl or a third bird. You can choose to find a way to make mornings work for you. And I'm gonna help you learn how. All right, that was a lot of talk about birds, right? Are you still with me? Because we're about to talk about making being good at mornings a part of your identity. First, I want you to reflect on this question. Why do you want to become a better morning person? While you think about your answer, I'll share mine with you and maybe it'll help. As the mom to two little girls waiting for me at daycare, I don't have the option to work late into the evening. Those hours are spoken for with dinner time, bath time, and bedtime stories. Your evenings may be similar, or maybe you spent your evening hours on volunteer activities or nonprofit work, other things that can't be shifted to your mornings. Maybe your mornings are already filled with specific activities like working out, walking your dog, or doing a meditation practice. That's why I'd like you to consider why you want to be a better morning person. If you don't have a clear purpose and you already struggle to get out of bed, it'll be nearly impossible to pull yourself out of bed for no good reason. Maybe you want to work out more, get in an extra hour of work, have some time to yourself before your family wakes up, or generally just feel better in the mornings. And then once you have those answers, ask yourself again, why? 
dig deeper? Would working out help you feel more energized? Would getting in an extra hour of work help you accomplish your goals? Does that extra time to yourself put you in a better mindset for the day? And would feeling better in the morning help you treat yourself and others with more calm, kindness, and happiness? Keep your why in mind and let's move on to step two. Once you know why you want to wake up earlier and become a better morning person, I want you to believe that you're already a morning person. It might sound a little cheesy, but the words we use to describe ourselves, our internal self-talk, it's powerful stuff. So if you tell yourself, I just can't do mornings or I suck at mornings, then that's exactly what's going to happen. Negative self-talk has negative consequences. It can lead to feelings of insecurity and depression. It can increase our stress. It can limit our ability to see new opportunities and let ourselves change. Now, if you've been telling yourself statements like these without thinking about the impact that it has on you, it's okay. Don't beat yourself up over it. You can let those statements go and start being more mindful about how you talk to yourself moving forward. Those negative, I'm not a morning person statements, if you catch yourself thinking them or saying them, flip the script. Replace it with something neutral or positive rather than, uh, I hate mornings or I just can't get up early. Try this instead. I can get out of bed, or simply, it's morning. Before you know it, you'll start thinking these neutral or positive statements instead, and your actions will begin to align with your self-talk. You'll start making tiny decisions that add up to morning success. You might even start looking forward to mornings as soon as you open your eyes. In the early days of my podcast, It's About Time, I had the opportunity to talk with Rachel Henry, mom, wife, and full-time problem solver. I learned a lot from Rachel in that episode and I highly recommend listening to it. I've linked it down below so you can check it out. Rachel admitted that no one in her family of four is a bright-eyed, bushy-tailed morning person. But because she knows that, they make the most of their evenings and prep in advance. Now, what you do the night before depends on how much time you have available in the morning, what your routine looks like, and what you need to get done. But no matter what, there are a few actions that you can take every evening to set yourself up for morning success. First, you can write out your morning routine schedule with times and everything. Now, be realistic about how long things take you. And this isn't something that you have to do every single night to prepare for the next morning. But once you've got this down pat, having your routine written out step by step will help you follow it once the actual morning arrives. Second, Set out all of your most important things. Put those essentials in the same spot every night so you know exactly where they are in the morning. I'm talking about your keys, your lunch, your gym bag, your laptop, your planner. You can even load your car the night before or at least have everything by the back door so you won't forget it as you walk out. Three, charge your phone away from your bed. I know, I know, this one is tough but moving your phone across the room or to a completely different room makes it less tempting to stay up late and scroll and scroll and scroll. Plus, you'll take in less blue light from your screen that keeps you awake. And four, last but not least, get enough sleep. Most adults need an average of seven to nine hours of sleep each night. Figure out what your body needs to help you sleep well. Blackout curtains, a sound machine, a sleep mask, lavender pillow spray, all of those things can help you ease into a restful night's sleep. And of course, if you have a newborn or little ones at home right now who make it really tough to get an uninterrupted night's sleep, I feel you and I have been there. I'm still there. I know that a full night's sleep can feel impossible or awfully far away right now, but I promise the rough nights won't last forever. I'm rooting for you, okay? 
In addition to these tips, there are so many other things that you can do to set yourself up for a good morning. You can prepare your lunch and snacks. You can set your coffee maker. You can tidy up the common areas of your house so you're not waking up to chaos. The possibilities really are endless. So I challenge you to think of any sticking points in your mornings and see what you can do in advance to make things run a little bit smoother. So are you surprised that you can be a better morning person even if you're a third bird or a night owl? And if you're already an early bird, you can start having even better mornings by implementing some of these healthy habits. First, check which bird you are if you're unsure. My free worksheet is linked in the description. Then reflect on your reasons for wanting to become a better morning person. If you don't have a compelling reason, it's gonna be much harder to take action. Next, make morning person a part of your identity. Turn negative self-talk into neutral or positive statements and watch your actions follow suit. Finally, make it as easy as possible for yourself in the mornings and start the night before. Remove as many obstacles for yourself as you can by preparing in advance for the morning to come. Please let me know how you make the most of your mornings. Are you a third bird like me? Are you a natural early bird or a night owl? Let me know in the comments below which flock you fly in. Oh, and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.